for five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I, I think we're, we're, we're talking past each other. Is when we talk about climate change as the number one problem in the world and it's going to bring instability to the planet, it's like we can't use fossil fuels to affect a positive result on climate change. And it drives me crazy because we have roughly 300 uh, million people in India that don't have reliable power. We have people in sub-Saharan Africa that don't have reliable power. They have dirty coal. They have coal they can mine. The Chinese are not only building plants, as Mr. Pfluger pointed out, in their own country. They're building them in sub-Saharan Africa to help those people. They're garnering goodwill all over the world using antiquated technology when we in this country not only have better technology, we're constantly working on better technology. Recently, I went to visit with some folks who are associated or, or part of Console Energy. It was exciting because the methane leaking out of existing coal mines and abandoned coal mines can be captured by this new technology they have. And if we really are serious about solving the climate issues and reducing the amount of, of natural gas and CO2, methane that escapes and CO2 in the air, we should be using American technology to make the use of our fossil fuels better and better. And then we can export our technology, not antiquated technology from China using 1960s and 70s technology, but 21st century technology that the United States can produce and give or sell, whichever is the right way to do it, to countries in the world who are just trying to make sure that their folks have the power to heat their homes if they need them, to provide cooking uh, abilities, to provide them with modern technologies, because they're all going to be using, they're all using these smartphones. We need to be providing that instead of it being provided by antiquated technology by the Chinese. And so we're it's not that we don't agree that we need to be looking at, at how we reduce greenhouse gases. It's that we ought not throw out the baby with the bathwater and say we can't use fossil fuels, that we can only use renewables. We need to be using all of the above where it's appropriate to use solar and wind, whether it be here or in the third world or somewhere else, that's fine. But where it's appropriate to use ways to clean up the, the dirty coal they already have. We have that technology available too. Uh, we're already selling some of that to India to try to help them with steel production. There are so many different things that we could be doing, and our, our companies are hamstrung. Their hands are tied so that they cannot do as much as they would like to do and invest in new investments which will help the world and help the U.S. economy. I appreciate your time, Mr. Chairman, and I will yield to somebody.